Hey, Key Bros, what do you say, what do you know? This is Keith DiPiazzi coming at you from the Man Cave. So, hey guys, I was uh, reading a couple posts, and I guess a couple of you younger guys were talking about how to set up a keyboard rig and how to get to uh, various sounds and stuff that... Um, whoop, I almost fell off my stool. Um, you get to various sounds and stuff you need to do gig and stuff so i figured i'd make this video to uh, maybe try to answer some questions uh me i'm in my late 60s and i've been around forever um you know and uh so i've gone to many different incarnations of keyboards and stuff but anyway um i do what i call a departmental style of playing and uh let me see let me set this up here i can give you a good example okay and uh, kill that what i normally do on my bottom keyboard i mainly keep a piano all right and it will do piano and In layers, so pianos in layers, and uh, then uh, the second keyboard up, what I normally do is I set this up for organ and various other sounds, and um, so what I do, like as far as the organ goes, all right, so I'll keep like a lead organ up here. Then what I do, I have it split, so I have, so I keep a left organ, a left hand organ here. That way I'm, I'm not doing this crap, all right? So if I'm doing, um, like a, um, set up that way. I got the Leslie hooked up on the Sustains pedal. Now then, usually my top keyboard's my icing keyboard, so um, I could have like a sax here, and if I want um, a little pad, Actually, by using three, I'm actually using six or five. You know what I mean? Because I got this doing one thing, got this doing another thing, got this doing uh, another good. Let me give you uh, some act. Uh, let me find it here. Um, good example, say, take a song. Uh, let me bring the volume down on this. All right. Um, so what? Uh, we'll take this song like uh, "Hold On, I'm Coming," which is an old Motown song. So what I'll do is I'll set up this keyboard with. All right. So I'll keep a little synth going. All right. Then I'll add that with piano. Alright, 
so I got a piano and some player here. And all right, and I got the lead line of the song is. All right, so I got the brass hitting that, but I need a strong left hand. So I got this doing this part. <laughs> And down here on the lower end, I have a horn hit. All right, so I got regular brass horn hits here, and then then up here I. So I got all these sounds available. So it's like, uh, like if I'm doing like, don't you. Ever for everything you know what I mean another uh, um, was safe for doing um, bring this to the organ um, the letter so you look at the organ here things all right and that's the way I set up uh, and I have everything you know and um, then you just figure out what sounds you need and uh, then you make them and uh, so I have a lot of different like um, like on some songs uh, we do a little bit of country and um, so like uh Excuse my audio system. Um, this is set up in my man cave, and uh, so I'm not playing uh, through my regular live rig. Um, my live rig is a, a Mackie board with a Mackie powered cabinet, and what I have set up here for rehearsal is a Behringer mixer with a uh, Barbada cabinet, and there's something's cutting out. It's probably that Behringer board. 
the Behringer boards work good for a couple of years, and after that, they kind of crap out on you. But there's a... You hear it? So there's either a back cable or whatever, but... But anyway, it's a, I call it departmental. I got every, I got a, a piano department, I got an organ department, and I got an icing department. So whatever I need this top keyboard to do, um, you know what I mean? Um, it's assignable. I do, I do a ton of splits, lots of layering, ton of splits, lots of layering. Uh, I don't split this keyboard, but I do a lot of layering. Whether it would be... Uh, piano with synth, which is a great combination. Especially if your keyboard got the after touch, you could hit. You could bring in other stuff, which is nice. The Studio Logic has the after touch. After touch it, um, you know, as an old fogey during the '80s, we had a ton of boards with after touch, and I I don't know why they quit doing that. But anyway, that's what I normally do. Uh, you think of the material that you're going to do. If you need horns, yeah, you, know, you make your make yourself a horn section. Um, you know, figure out all the sounds you need, and then find a way where you can get as much out of it. And normally what I do is I use these three keyboards, plus I, over here I keep a, um, I run a Gaia synthesizer, which I'm now bringing out with me. So I use four keyboards. And just having that lead synth, and um, I think it's a blast. I'm having a great time using that synth. Um, it's a great lead synth, but it's also poly. So I could do some really crazy things. And before I end this, I'm going to uh, turn you guys on to a really um, cool idea for you guys. Where am I at here? Uh, I'm a, oh, here we go. Now, if you have a keyboard where you're able to layer and stuff like that, try doing this. Find yourself a cool cloud and mix it with organ. Check this out. It is cool as heck. playing really good today because um, I only had half a cup of coffee but anyway I hope this video guys I hope this video gives you guys some ideas on coming up with ideas and stuff um, you know I'll just throw this out there I have currently in my my herd is right now I think 14 keyboards and uh, for the live gigs um, I settled down with uh, these main three and uh, the Chrome EX and the Chrome EX and the Studio Logic Numa Compact 2X, all right, and uh, plus the Gaia lead synth. But uh, I've, I've gotten questions like, why did I buy two of the same keyboards? Well, A, yeah, they're, they're both Chrome EXs, but they do different things. B, I only have to learn how to program one keyboard, all right? So when I need to make a sound and uh, or get it to keep get the keyboard to do an idea I have in my mind, uh, it's a lot easier for me. Plus, you know, I 
I, I own a Triton, I own a Cronus, and they're all the same programming, all right? So, um, it's beautiful. Uh, if I need to make a sound, I'm able to just do it, all right? But that's why I have two of the same keyboards, because they, uh, they're the same thing, but they they have different jobs to do, and they, they both do it well. So, but uh, I figured I'd toss that out there, but that's some ideas, like if you're running the, the latest Yamaha gear or the Rolling gear, um, figure out what you need the keyboard to do, and if you're going out to buy a rig, you know, I, I would suggest to see if the keyboards um, can do a variety of things, um, maybe get two of the same thing. Uh, I know when you're young, things don't really matter, but like me, when I'm in my late 60s, um, you know, I only have a few brain cells left, so every little bit of brain power uh, I need. And uh, so I can't think like I used to think, you know. So um, I hope this video has helped to you guys. God bless, and we'll see you again.